Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how you can basically use Superbase with Lovable. Let's create a portfolio website with Superbase. So this is only going to be the initial prompt before we uh, connect to our Superbase instance uh, that I'm going to be showing you uh, right next. So we can actually, while it's working, start and connect right now to um, the Superbase instance. So for this example, let's just uh, get uh, into the Superbase settings. So you'll be able to get it uh, at the top right corner like I clicked. And then once you arrive here, just click Connect Superbase. Now, the thing that's going to ask you is if you want to authorize API access for Lovable to your Superbase. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just uh, select the organization to grant it to. So for myself, it's going to be uh, my email organization. And then just click Authorize Lovable. Just wait till it finishes. Great. So as you can see right now, we basically have um, our projects uh, that are connected to our organization. So um, basically, we have two uh, pre-made projects. So I'll just uh, get this one first. And then after that, we'll be able to uh, go to the next. Now, one thing I want to point out is that if you go to your Superbase, once you've connected your organization and you see this message right here about check project status in Superbase, it is because uh, you are on the free plan and that your project is uh, going to sleep because of the policy that Superbase puts uh, on inactive projects. So we just have to go to Superbase and then I want to bring this one back. So let's just click uh, restore project. Uh, and we'll just wait for the project to restore. So as you can see, the project is back up and running right now, and we're basically going to be ready to connect it to our Lovable project. So if we go back to Lovable, we can see that we can click Connect here uh, to connect the project, and we can click Connect again. And as you can see, it's now connected, and we basically have the link made between our Lovable project and our Superbase database. So right after that, let's just click X on that, and then we'll be able to uh, actually start the project. Um, so as you can see, we got our first error. Okay, so as you can see, we just basically asked it to fix it and it uh, just uh, did it. So um, right now we have a simple uh, website uh, that is a very uh, normal, nothing very uh, specific about it. So one thing we might want to do is, uh, let's say we want to, um, let's say, store our um, additional skills into a Superbase table. So one thing we would do is uh, maybe create a database table. So you can think of a database table as, let's say, if you have a kitchen, in your kitchen you have um, basically a cupboard or uh, basically a drawer and you can imagine the table as being this. And let's say you have a drawer with uh, three type of utensils. This could be um, basically the columns of a table. Now the way we would want to talk to Lovable to say create a table to store those, we need to think about uh, what kind of stuff we need, right? So I would say uh, create, create a table to store the additional skills from the home page it's like that and then we can add some requirements to make sure he understands well the tasks so uh, the table is named additional skills we can uh, maybe even specify the columns it should create so uh, the table should have three columns ID and then we'll call it um, name and then let's do and then parent skill something like that so let's just submit it and see what happens, uh, what Lovable does. Um, and we'll see right after what happens in the tables um, that is created. So 
as you can see the message we're getting is a create table statement now the way uh, uh, lovable uh, does is basically translate what you're telling him to do into a SQL statement SQL statement is basically a language like any other language that basically is made solely for databases so in this case what lovable is, is gonna tell uh, Superbase to do is to basically create a table with exactly the columns we talked about so the ID the name the parent skill like we told it to do right here and it added a created that um, basically timestamp which is okay um, as you can see it even gives us the uh, row level security uh, policies which is pretty great and it also inserts the uh, basically the, the table um, data uh, so let's apply the changes and check uh, what's happening uh, so it's not going to run it uh, to Superbase via what we call the MCP server, the Superbase MCP server. Um, as you can see, great the SQL command were executed successfully. Now I'll update the skills component to fetch and display uh, skills from the Superbase database instead of using the arcade data. So what I think is very great here is that Lovable understands that it should use the real table data instead of the mock data. Um, this is very really interesting because uh, some other AI tool don't understand this concept and usually what they will do is uh, simply uh, insert in the table a new table and not use uh, the new data just use the same old mock data so now if we look here in the additional skills we still we see those uh, skills and if we go to view code we can see that it changed the code a bit um, also added the fetching on the, the database side um, so every time you see a wait uh, space superbase dot from dot select this is a select a command so each time we reload the page it's gonna execute the select so let's check the database to see what happened so if we go right here we have the table called additional skills and as you can see we got our data in it with the timestamp created and our auth policies uh, basically for uh, row layer security which is really important and um, so this is a really relatively simple example uh, but I think it shows really great how Superbase can do it now just to prove to you that it's using the real data what I'm gonna do is just click inspect and um, we'll just reload the page and see what it does just like that and uh, as you can see we can see the call to the database uh, basically the additional skills uh, command so what it does is it basically tells Superbase give me that data I needed to use it so we can see additional skills this is calling the table it's ordering it by the parent skill and it's also uh, selecting them all so we can see the response the response to that query will be exactly what we need so everything in that table so in this way you have a secure call to the database and uh, you basically didn't have to do anything now if you encounter any errors in that type of operation one thing I can uh, help you with is you basically can take a 20-minute call with me uh, in the description right there. Uh, it's totally free. I'm going to help you and guide you through what we you could do to uh, basically uh, solve it. Um, and I think it will really help you to get a better understanding over just the AI tool of it. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments. Otherwise, uh, book a meeting with me and I'll see you guys in the next one.